All right, we are making one of my very favorite art projects today. And this is basically an abstract art piece made from markers and water and then putting a little frame around it. So you can use any colors that you want. Uh, the markers should be fresh. I think that's what makes the difference between a successful piece and a not so successful piece. Also, you want to make sure that you are using the um, art paper and not just um, regular um, copy paper for this because you will be spraying this with water. And when you spray the paper with the water um, on copy paper, it just starts to curl up and it doesn't really have a nice effect that you would get if you're using a heavier kind of paper. So this is a drawing paper. It's about um, probably an 80 pound paper. So the um, papers come in different pound weights. So this one is a little bit thicker and 80 pound is usually good for like painting as well. So um, you're just going to color stripes on your paper. You can use any colors you want. I used to have my students just stick to warm colors or cool colors, but I found that when they chose their own colors, they often looked just as good. Um, you might also want to consider just using colors that are next to each other on the color wheel because they will bleed together um so from here maybe i'll repeat the yellow you know certainly you can do a rainbow pattern if you like that and it is sort of good to try to get right out to the edges of the paper I guess I'll try the blue again. Like I know that when blue and yellow mix together, they'll make a greenish color, which will be nice. Blue and orange together would make like a brownish. So it's just sort of your color preferences. All right. And then I am going to take my paper and spray it with just a regular uh, spray water bottle. So I'm going to move my finished piece out of the way here. And I guess I'll turn it this way. And then I'm going to spray it a few times with my water. And you can see where it's dripping, that where it's where it's making a nice design. So maybe I could use a little bit more water. Because I really like, I want to make the, these colors blend and I really want to get some nice dripping patterns here going. Um... You can, you know, turn it in different directions, too, if you want. don't want it all going in the same direction. Um, and even if you leave it flat while you are um, letting it dry, that could end up with some different interesting effects as well. All right, so then after it's dry... Then you can take a black or white piece of paper that you cut a hole into. So this is a, an eight by 10 piece of paper. And then I cut a hole in it that is five by seven. And you'll wanna wait till it's completely dry though, of course. And then you're gonna move your frame around or your mat around your paper to decide which parts you think 
are the most interesting and what would make the best composition for your work. So I really like this dark area actually over here. So I think that's where I would put it. But I'm going to let it dry before I do that. And then you just glue your black matte paper onto the front of your um, completed work. And then you can just trim off any edges with your scissors. And then um, you can also put this in a regular 8x10 frame then. So it's ready to go. You can just buy a, a Dollar Tree frame if you want to. All right. So I hope yours turns out just fantastic for you. And good luck.